Let's go to the real expert, Carl Rove, standing by, former White House Chief Deputy of uh, Deputy Chief of Staff and former and current Fox News contributor. Uh, is the momentum been stopped, Carl? Well, you know, look, uh, we don't really know, but I, but I doubt it. Uh, I, I mean, this this is a this is a period of time. You know, just around Labor Day, where all kinds of weird things happen. The weird thing that's happening now is that Democrats are getting the advantage of the media, which is desperate to say they're back in the game. I loved it. There, there was one of them that said, "Look at Florida! Look at Florida! There are more people voted in the Democratic primary in 2022 than four years ago." That's right. One million five hundred thirteen thousand two hundred thirteen people voted in this year's primary, but four years ago, one million five hundred nine thousand four less than four thousand. More people voted this time than last time. And how many hundreds of thousands of people have moved to Florida in the last four years? And yet, somehow or another, right. this is supposed to be an indication of a Democratic... We're going to keep Nancy Pelosi as speaker because 3,000 and some odd more people voted in the Democratic primary in a rapidly growing state. Another gotcha. one, New York Times. For the first time in 20 years, there are now more registered Republicans than Democrats in, in Florida. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 1845 is when Florida became a state. That's 177 years ago. This is the first time in the history of Florida there are more registered wow. Republicans than Democrats. L look at this, 41.5. What is that? That was the job approval just before Labor Day in 2018 for Donald J. Trump. Joe Biden, in the midst of a gigantic burst of enthusiasm, is 42.4. Remember the schlacking the Republicans had when, they were, when, when our president, Republican president, was nine-tenths of a percent lower than Joe Biden is today? I mean, come on, people. Really? So, they, 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 you know, you this election's going to be fought over that. these. Yeah. They, these are going to be fought. The election's going to be fought over these numbers. The, the consumer price index was in July was 8.5 percent, down admittedly from 9.1 in June. And the CPE, which is what the White House likes to point to because it's a smaller number, it was 6.3 versus 6.8 the month before. But this is largely the result of a drop, a drop in gasoline right. prices because people said, you know what, it's too expensive for us to drive to our vacation. Carl, we're going to vacation someplace closer. All right, let me just follow up. The Democratic talking point is they won four special elections and abortion is bringing things their way. Democrat Republicans no, no, no. have to learn how to handle that abortion question, though, don't they? Yeah, yeah. No, no, two things. First of all, let's take those four elections. What they said, it's not that they won four elections, it's that they ran better, the, the Democratic candidates for Congress ran better than Joe Biden ran in those districts, and they won, as a result, one of those races. They won New York 19. Now, but think about this. Yeah, I, I'd be concerned about that if I were a Republican, and I'd be worried about abortion. But again, let's come back and talk about that a little bit when you have time, because there are underlying factors that the media is ignoring. Holding a special election on the same day as a primary in a district that has far more registered Democrats than Republicans, and a Democrat wins by 2.2 percent, that's not necessarily an indication of a whole heck of a lot. But yes, the Republicans have got to be better at answering the question of abortion, and that means they need to make certain that they know right. that people understand that they hear their concerns. And if I was to summarize your appearance on Jesse Waters' primetime, it would be bring it on as we get set to go to Labor Day. Bring it on, right? Yes, sir. Thank you, Carl Rove. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.